Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I want to be doing another quick little update on my networking system. Um, the phone system has pretty much stayed the same. However, the networking system has had several changes, including me finally getting some rack ears for the switch and um, having a switch mounted and um, cable managing some of my ethernet cables. And in my opinion, it looks great. Um, I know you're gonna say, these aren't the correct rack ears. The seller sent me the wrong one. And I know this is mounted wonky in between like two different U, but um, that's just because I wanted to leave a little space. And um, eventually I'm gonna move this down one, all this down one, and I'll have a one U space to get like one of those one U brush panels that are just for running wires through. Or I might just use a patch panel, not sure yet. Um, but anyways, this is new. Uh, this is a new device compared to last time. Uh, this is a Cisco PIX 515E firewall, and um, this is, honestly, I don't know why, but this is probably like one of my favorite Cisco devices right now. Um, I have no idea what my obsession is with PIX, Cisco PIX equipment, but I have several more PIX firewalls and stuff on the way. Um, so yeah, that's my firewall, and like I said, this is the Cisco Catalyst 2960FS or SF series PoE switch um, and as you can see I have my cables ni nicely managed um, so I'll do some explaining with the switch here or just basically how my setup is this firewall um, the out the inside portion of this firewall is a 10.0.0.0 network and so like all these so this is all, I have configured VLANs on the switch so this group this group and this group of ports are all on VLAN 1, which is my 10.0 network. But this group right here is on uh, VLAN 2, which is my 192 network, my regular network before the firewall. And um, for some reason, I can't get the voice gateway to work on the firewall. And um, obviously, the switch, the uh, firewall needs an incoming internet, ethernet connection too. So I just made a VLAN, um, so I can just, yeah, I don't know what else to say there, but, and, um, the cool thing is, is that this voice gateway actually has two NICs on it, um, you got fast ethernet port zero and fast ethernet port one, and so point zero is, um, assigned, like, my main port that is on the 192 network on VLAN two, which is right, which is this black cable right here. But this blue cable right here, I believe, um, that's going to uh, Fast Ethernet port 1, which is assigned to a 10.0 IP, so I can still telnet into it from inside my firewall, which is very handy. Um, and then, obviously, the switch is on VLAN 1, so I can telnet into the switch from my fire from the 10.0 network, which is pretty handy. Down here, I have my Dell Opiplex 780. Uh, this is kind of my main server right now. Um, I'm planning on getting a case and just putting all this crap inside of the rack mount case because it's kind of inconvenient having it sit right here because, you know, I have all this U down here that I could be utilizing. Instead, I just have it blocked off by this uh, computer. Um, right here, I have my modem, which isn't hooked up, and my ATA, which is just used for testing at the moment. Um, so, yeah, that is pretty much it. The next couple of pieces of equipment I'm going to be getting right here is going to be a rack mount power strip. Where you have different you know on off switches um, that's just going to be for controlling different components in my rack and then down here is going to be a cisco 2811 router and i'm going to be using that for some voice applications and it's going to be my main router as well so i'll make an update once all that arrives and uh yeah thanks for watching and the next video will be of an alarm system i promise thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one